Casting the bronze wall cross is a fascinating process in which I find no small amount of truth about our interactions and life with Christ. The thing is, as soon as you've made the mold, that shape, that final product exists inside of it in the negative space. From that moment, it becomes a potential item, but it's just a vacuum. This is like us. When we're born, created by God, we are intentionally shaped and made in a specific way. God creates a mold, and within us, at that moment, is the potential person we were meant to be. With the mold, we use bronze. Liquid metal is captivating in a way that's totally unlike anything else you'll ever see. It's terrifying, on one level, posing a distinct threat to anything it comes in contact with. There's no mistaking the power of molten bronze. You can feel its presence from 20 feet away as a wave of heat. But alongside that potential danger exists even greater potential to create, to become, to solidify into something strong and durable. We pour the bronze into the mold, and in a few seconds, a type of transmutation occurs as the bronze ceases to be liquid and becomes solid in the shape of a cross within the mold. So you must break the cross free of its mold. And so Christ must, over time, chisel away from us everything that isn't our true selves. Eventually, we finished the crosses and they were complete. And I rejoice in the fact that one wonderful day, we will bow at the feet of Christ and be just as complete.